The Indiana State Teachers Association is partnering with a Republican state senator to write legislation that would require financial literacy to be taught in Indiana public schools. Jimmy Jenkins has the story. State Senator Brent Waltz and the Indiana State Teachers Association are working together on a proposal that aims to implement financial literacy coursework for grades K through 12 in Indiana schools. The legislation would establish a task force which would then develop a financial literacy curriculum. Waltz says students need to learn the practical financial skills that are necessary in today's society. Examples would be talking about the subprime mortgages, talking about credit card debt, student loans, uh, balancing your checkbook. These are things that are really not taught in the classroom, but they have tremendous impact on a student's life. The political action arm of the Indiana State Teachers Association endorsed Waltz over his Democratic challenger, Marianne Sullivan, in Waltz's re-election bid this year. ISTA President Nate Schnellenberger says, while the ISTA has historically supported Democrats, his organization has a long-standing policy of endorsing candidates that support public education regardless of their party. No candidate is perfect, uh, and every candidate, Republican or Democrat, there's none of them that agree with us 100 percent all the time on everything. And if, you know, if uh, you say, my wife and I have been married for 37 years, but I'm sure there are some things about me that she doesn't really like. Waltz is working with the ISTA to finalize the bill's legislation, which, if re-elected, he will propose next year. For WTIU News, I'm Jimmy Jenkins.